So guys, uh, let me show you how to identify which values to correlate. By the way, this video is brought to you by Asia Training Solutions. A lot of students would call me and ask me, so Kumar, um, how do we identify these values? You know, which values to correlate, which values not to correlate? You know, I have this difficulty. Can you please help me with that? So <clears throat> I'm going to show you a trick which uh, has been working for me very successfully for a very long time. So let me share that with you and see, you know, hopefully it will work for you. Uh, it's not a foolproof uh, trick, but most of the times it works for me. But typically, is there a standard way to identify the values to correlate? Yes. Record the script twice and compare it and whichever the values that are changing, you know, those are the values that are most likely to be correlated. But that's not what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you a trick which has been working for me for a very long time. Well, uh, if you're interested in the trainings of the Load Runner, uh, well, you can contact me on that number 801-995-2427 or visit that website. So we'll cover very basics and also very advanced topics as the part of the course. So coming back to the topic. So let me record a script and uh, let's see, you know, uh, which values to correlate. So I'm going to record the script for booking the flight tickets. Okay, on the same the tools application, the standard. So, so uh, there is a spelling mistake. Please ignore that, guys. So let me go ahead and record it. So uh, as I've told you, I will be recording it for booking the flight tickets. Sometimes, you know, I do have this issue, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I just have to go ahead and play a little bit with certain uh, uh, options and suddenly it will start working. Just give me a moment, guys. Let me figure out, you know, what kind of issues uh, they are there. Um, typically, it's mapping and filtering, you know, that typically works for me. And uh, the options, you know, uh, just enable this one. So hopefully this time around it will uh, it will work. So this is this is a good thing as well in case if 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 the recording is not working for you, so you know what needs to be done. You see the magic it worked. Anyways, so <clears throat> so I'm gonna uh, uh, book the flight tickets now. Uh, So select the seating preference, select the type of the seat, uh, select the flight and the payment. You can leave this as it is, you know, it will still work or if you enter also it will work. If you don't enter also it will work. You see the ticket has been booked. Now you can sign off and stop. So wonderful guys, we have recorded the script now. So here is the thing guys. Okay, here is the thing. So typically. So the design studio will show up automatically. The design studio would show up automatically as soon as the uh, recording is done. So sometimes you might not be finding this design studio automatically. That could be because of your recording options. So, <clears throat> well, coming back here. it's automatically uh, automatically correlated as well so let me go back here okay it, uh, the correlation is applied for certain things okay so wonderful <clears throat> now watch carefully guys so this design studio would give you the suggestions as to what needs to be correlated that doesn't mean that you go ahead and correlate all of them that doesn't mean that you go ahead and correlate all of them okay so uh, the trick that has been working for me is Anything which, which you cannot make sense out of, 
those are the likely values that you need to correlate. Those are the likely values that you need to correlate. For example, I can make sense out of this one, which is welcome. I can make sense out of this word, which is flights. But there are certain things which you cannot make sense out of. For example, this one. So this is the most likely value that, you need, that needs to be correlated. And for example, this one. This is the most likely value that needs to be correlated. So you need to handpick and carefully look at those values, you know, which you cannot make sense out of. And those are the most likely values that need to be correlated. Okay. For example, for example, now, <clears throat> okay. So I'll go ahead and run this test and let's see where it fails. Okay. I'll go ahead and run this test and let's see where it fails. Okay. My, my script is failing at line number 97. As you can clearly see, it is related to the login. It is related to the login. And I'll tell you most of the times a script will fail because of the correlation. Most of the times a script will fail because of the correlations. So once you have recorded, you go, go back. Okay. Once you have recorded, make sure the checkpoints are there. Once the checkpoints are there, okay, then you go ahead and run it. If the script is running fine, don't even worry about anything guys. Okay. Don't even worry about the correlation or anything. If the script is failing, like what has happened to me, okay, figure out where it has failed, figure out where it has failed and now go to the design studio and see some correlations in and around that point. Okay. You see my script has failed at line number 97. Okay. Now you have to figure out the values that needs to be correlated in and around 97. Okay. So go ahead and click on this. You see replace and find, go ahead and click on this. Yeah. So this is the value that needs to, this is, this is the, this is the value exactly at line 97. You see, this is the value that my view, my view gen is suggesting that there is a value to be correlated and where at the line 97. Now, this is the most likely value that needs to be correlated. Go ahead and correlate it now. You see, make sure it is applied. Now, go back and run it. Now, go back and run it. See, script is working absolutely fine. There's no issues at all. Now, the script will work fine. And you have, congratulations, guys. You have, out of all these values, my vision is suggesting, you have handpicked the value which needs to be correlated. And you have just correlated that value. And you have just correlated that value. So congratulations. I hope these videos are helping you out. Uh, and uh, yeah, if there are any training requirements, yeah, please do contact me on the number that I have mentioned before. Thank you.